Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can use Flutter, AWS and WebSockets together in a Flutter application. Let's click on this app experiments here. So basically this app is connected to the AWS WebSocket which we have created and how to create AWS WebSocket APIs you can see in the link description below. <clears throat> now by default it is only connected there is no data passed so that's why it shows us no data. Now there are two aspects to it send wrong input and send correct input. So when we send wrong input it sends some payload to the WebSocket API which I have created and it responds back accordingly. Let's see. I clicked on send wrong input and it gave me response seems like wrong input. And let's see what happens when I click on send correct input. Okay, so it gives me some payload. Now let's see what is being passed on saying wrong input and send correct input. In the wrong one case, it passes, this is a add WebSocket channel and this is explained clearly in the article below. So this in this we are adding some value, some random value, say BD in this case a string and in the send correct input we are passing it as a payload of action message and name. So by default any message which is not in this payload format is giving us an output of this seems like wrong input but our API only expects the payload in the form of action message and name that's why it is the correct input in my case and it gives me the extracted version of message parameter name parameter in the stringified version for all further details please check out the article link below and if you like this video please comment and subscribe thank you guys